Open University. Hello, music aficionados. Um, I, I put some new, new strings on my guitar because it's been uh, lacking a, a third and fourth string, a fourth and fifth string for quite a while, and it's been used as a kind of kalimba. And um, it's nice. It's good to have the old guitar back because it, it plugs you into a tradition of, um, particularly the songwriting, the French songwriting tradition of uh, Georges Brassens, for instance. So you can uh, you can play all the old songs, um, and um, the songs of Jacques Brel, the songs of uh, Georges Brassens, the songs of uh, Brassens's British follower Jake Thackeray, who's a great favourite of mine, has been since the eighties. Uh, I mean, I saw him live a few times, and I was going to interview him. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the NME. He was going to be the third in my NME series after Brel and Gansburg. My idea was not just foreign songwriters should be, um, should be uh, promoted more in the British music press, but um, older songwriters. And Thackeray at that point, he's probably the age I am now, I thought of him as a very old man. He was very much part of my childhood because he was on television doing topical satirical stuff on the BBC uh, every week, really, on the spur of the moment, coming up with new songs. And um, then on Radio 4 programs, so, so the interview, he, he asked to be interviewed in Fuller's Tap pub, which is in part of Fuller's Brewery, which is on the M4. He'd been appearing on Loose Ends or something in BBC Radio 4, and was driving home to Monmouth, where he lived. I think he was, uh, he was a Yorkshireman, but he'd uh, relocated to Wales. He was also a Catholic, um, and his songs have this kind of very earthy quality, obviously drawing on Villon and people like that, but, um, and, and Brassens very much. But also there is something Catholic about their essential forgivingness, you know, the idea of confession and, and forgiveness features very strongly, so he's, he's very willing to confess to the sins of the flesh and a weakness for drink and things like that. So. A bit like Jacques Brel, who wrote a song called Emile, um, which was saying, you know, have a great carousal at my funeral. Um, the last will and testament of Jake Thackeray is um, asking people to really rip it up at, at, at his funeral. And um, my long-standing, very loyal and um, um, warm fan, uh, Wayne Connolly, is currently undergoing some pretty heavy medical procedures, stem cell replacement. Uh, you can follow him on Twitter, Wayne Connolly. Uh, he's, um, and so the operations so far have been going very well and are very successful. Um, but uh, he, he, uh, he, as a sort of plan B, he was thinking, well, what if I don't make it through this very serious procedure? Um, what would I like to be played at my funeral? And he couldn't think of anything more um, welcome for that, or more appropriate for that, than uh, Momus doing a Jake Thackeray song, doing this particular Jake Thackeray song. So this is a request of Wayne's. Get well soon, Wayne. I'm sure you will, and I'm sure it'll be many decades before this song is necessary for all of us. I, the author mentioned by this document, do declare my true intentions, my last will, my testament. When I turn up my toes, when I rattle my clock, when I agonize, I want no great white weepings, no tearing of hair, no wringing of hands, no sighs, no lack of days, no woe is me, and none of your sad adieus. Go, go, go and get the priest and then go. Get the booze, boys. Death. Where is thy victory, grave? Where is thy sting? When I snuff it, bury me quickly then. Let carousals begin, but not to do with a few ham sandwiches, a sausage roll or two, and a small port when please. Roll the carpet right back, get cracking with your own gay gordons, and your knees up, check it up, live it up, sup it up, hell of a kind of a time. And if the coppers come around, well, tell them the Party's mine, boys. Let best beef be eaten, fill every 
empty glass. Let no breast be beaten, let no tooth be gnashed. Don't bother with a fancy tombstone or a big deal angel or a little copper flower pot. Grow a dog rose in me eyes or a pussy willow, but no forget me not. No epitaphs, no keepsakes. You can let my memory slip. You can say a prayer or two for my soul then, but make it quick, boys. Lady, if your bosom is heaving, don't waste your bosom on me. Let it heave for a man who's breathing, a man who can feel, a man who can see into me cronies. You can read me books, you can drive around in me motor car, you can fish your trout with me, fly and tackle, you can play on my guitar and sing me songs, wear me shirts, you can even settle me debts. You can kiss me little messes if she's willing now, but no regrets, boys. Your rosebuds are numbered, gather them now in Rosebud's name. And if your hands are too encumbered, gather a bud or 